plants growing in space have to cope with the physical realities of a microgravity environment where the lack of buoyancy driven convection can cause low oxygen conditions around the plant. I spoke with one researcher who has grown plants on the space station inside a unique container. What is brick? It's not a brick like we think about on our house, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Um, brick means biological research in canister and it's a type of NASA hardware that's often been used to fly plants to the International Space Station. There's uh, five Petri plates inside this shoebox size brick. Uh, those Petri plates are held in a Petri dish fixation unit and the five Petri plates also have a data logger which records the temperature inside the brick. When you talk about growing plants in space, this really excites people. How did you get involved? The Gilroy Lab is interested in studying plants' responses to the environment, and part of our expertise is looking at calcium changes in plant cells as they respond to different stresses. Uh, so for example, during low oxygen stress, uh, which is common on Earth uh, during flooding, when flooding displaces the air spaces from the soil, the roots experience low oxygen stress, and this causes uh, a lot of changes in gene expression and the ability for the plant to grow well. So that naturally uh, grew into the idea, well, if we can study plants on the space station in microgravity, then there'll be some parallels to how plants are experiencing low oxygen stress on Earth. Overall, we've done a lot of these. What have we learned? What's the most important thing that, that we can take away so far? After the plants are returned to Earth, we can study differences in gene expression. So in addition to growing the plants on the space station, we also grew plants at Kennedy Space Center on the Earth to, as a control. So we can compare uh, in parallel what's going on in the different environments. And it turns out in space, uh, not only are the low oxygen stress genes upregulated, like we had predicted, but also a number of defense related genes, uh, including plant hormone signaling, such as jasmonic acid and salicylic acid signaling genes are upregulated, um, along with reactive oxygen species. So all of these categories of genes indicate the plants are experiencing stress when they're in space flight, but they're using the tools they have at hand, the changes in gene expression to be able to better cope with the environment of space flight.